The Trump administration is gearing up to loosen constraints on nuclear weapons, leading critics to say it's playing into a Cold War mentality. RT correspondent Anya Parenfeld tells more tonight. According to John Wolfstall, who served as a special assistant to President Barack Obama on arms control and non-proliferation, the Trump administration is planning to, quote, develop a new low-yield nuclear warhead for U.S. Trident missiles. Wolfstall has seen the most recent version of the policy review and shared his knowledge with The Guardian, which reports, quote, the new nuclear posture review prepared by the Pentagon envisages a modified version of the Trident D-5 submarine launched missiles with only part of its normal warhead, with the intention of deterring Russia from using tactical warheads in a conflict in Eastern Europe. The Guardian seeks to paint the move as a break from Obama-era policy, which it states sought to reduce the American nuclear weapon supply. And while it is true Obama began his eight-year term with a speech in Prague calling for a world without nuclear weapons, by the end of his presidency, his tune had changed. In fact, in the last year of his administration, it launched a $1 trillion plan to modernize American nukes. According to a 2017 piece in Politico written by one senior fellow and one policy analyst at the Center for Arms Control and Nonproliferation, quote, deploying new, more capable, low-yield weapons would only serve to heighten tensions between the United States and Russia, likely leading to a new type of nuclear arms race that no one would win and increasing the chances that these arms will be used. Critics warn this will be the effect of the Trump administration's policy. The U.S. claims these decisions are a response to a ground-launched cruise missile it's accused Russia of developing. Moscow has denied the charge. Last month, Russian President Vladimir Putin told a meeting of top military leaders, quote, they are searching for some violation in our part while consistently infringing on it themselves. All that seriously affects security in Europe and in the world. In Washington, Anya Parampil, RT.